Hey guys, how you doing? So today we'll be talking about the dumbest mistakes I've ever made. You know, poor life choices. Now, as a business owner, and I'm sure, you know, a lot of business owners out there can really connect with this because uh, no one's perfect and we all make dumb mistakes, right? So hopefully, um, some of these points, you can learn from my mistakes and, you know, not repeat them like I, you know, like I've, I've done many, many times, unfortunately. But, I'll, you know, I'll figure it out someday, right? I'll yeah. figure it out. Point number one, trying to do way, way too many things. Um, and and when, I, when I say way too many things, I'm talking about offering too many services, offering too many products, or trying to have too many things cooking, you know, in, in the kitchen. And sure, you know, you may be able to juggle a few things, but next thing you know, you lose control and there's a fire or something's burning and, and it's crazy, right? So having focus and figuring out what is that focus is probably the hardest part. Once you have that and then just continuously working on that one piece and then expanding out once once that main focus or that main goal is completed. Number two is hiring way too early. You know, in the beginning, I thought, you know what, I need to hire a big team so they can be experts in every single area. Well, that's really not the case. It's better to get a really good understanding of every component, every piece of the business, and then hire the individuals or the, um, or the teams or the people that you really absolutely need to help expand your business. So take your time in hiring and just finding the right person is important. And number three, uh, biggest mistakes is not learning from others. And what I mean by that is, is basically thinking, especially when I first started the business, I thought, you know what? They don't know any better. You know, why, why, why is there so much negativity in this? Or why didn't that work, right? They must not look at things the way I do. Well, in reality is, there is some merit to that. So always consider what they're saying and then putting it into your perspective. Kind of like, you know, what I'm saying now, you might not believe me right now until you experience it yourself, but at least keep that in mind as you're going through your journey. I'm like, hmm, maybe what David was saying wasn't that far off. So definitely learn from other people's mistakes, learn from others. And one of, one of the things that I love to do is read a lot of business books, a lot of different types of books, philosophy books, uh, but also talking to other human beings, especially other business owners, getting to know them and their experiences. And that has really helped me in growing mine. So hope these things help today and I'll see you next time. Bye.